Welcome to Sandra's Homespun Life, where I make all things yummy. In today's video, I am making pinto beans in the Ninja Foodie Smart XL. This is a simple recipe to make in the Ninja, and nothing beats a good bowl of soup beans. So let's get started. Today I'm using a 50 to 50 ratio of pinto beans and white northern beans. So to my bowl I'm going to be adding 3 cups of the beans. I like cooking these two beans together because it yields a thicker and richer soup. I begin by rinsing my beans in a bowl and draining off the water in a strainer. And I'll do this usually 2 or 3 times. Next, I add the beans to the pot of the Ninja Foodi and season the beans with salt. I like to add some type of pork meat to cook in my beans, so today I'm using a ham hock. These are relatively cheap and you can find them in most grocery stores. I then add 9 cups of water to the pot. Next, I close the lid to the Ninja and make sure that my pressure valve is set to the sealed position. Set the selection button to pressure, and for my settings, I'm going to cook on high pressure and set the timer for one hour. Then, turning the silver knob, I'm going to select Delayed Release. I touch the steam icon, which activates the Delayed Release timer. I set the timer for 15 minutes, and then I press Start. The Ninja Foodie will take approximately 20 minutes to build pressure. Then the clock will start counting down from an hour. Once the time is up, the Ninja Foodi will switch over to the delayed release. After the 15 minutes of delayed pressure release, the Ninja Foodi will automatically switch over and do a quick pressure release to release the existing pressure. Once all the pressure is released, the Ninja Foodi will display the letters OPN. You can now safely lift the lid. From here I like to stir my beans and then I remove the ham hock. And from there the beans are ready to serve. Today I fried up some kraut wieners and made a fresh pan of cornbread to go alongside my pinto beans. So the beans in this recipe are so simple and easy to make and there's nothing better than a good old hot bowl of soup beans on a cold day with this chilly weather that's moving into Kentucky it really hits the spot and there's no better comfort food than in my opinion than a big old bowl of soup beans and cornbread and kraut wieners it really hits the spot. I used a ham hock in this recipe I have used a pork chop before so you can use about any kind of pork that you'd want to. I've even put bacon in it before. It just adds a little bit more flavor and richness to the beans. But if you don't want pork in your beans, you could completely leave it out. Just make sure that when you're cooking your beans that you're seasoning them well. Because that's the bad thing about soup beans. It takes a lot of salt to season them well enough. Um, I wanted to show you these beans since it's been the next day after I cooked these and show you after you put them in the fridge how that broth and soup will thicken up on your soup bean. So here's the beans and I haven't stirred them yet. And as you tell, there wasn't many left. <laughs> so soup beans are always better the next day in my opinion. I had one of my viewers say that he even puts his soup beans in the fridge for a few hours before serving his after he cooks them. And um, he said it, it makes them even better. And I thought that was a great tip too. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, be sure to check out another one of my videos before you leave. And until next time guys. Bye.